Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another tutorial. Before I get started, I just wanted to thank all of my subs. I hit 500 subscribers. I really appreciate the support and the love. Now I'm on the road to 1K. Please subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. And let's get back to the tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to do the clone repeater effect that's seen the most NLE chopping NBA Youngboy music videos. Before we get started, make sure you check out my website for cheap Premiere Pro presets. The link will be in the description below. Let's get to it. All right, so we're starting off in Premiere Pro, but we actually gonna be using After Effects. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and use the dynamic link. So I got a little clip from Fredo Bang clicked up. He used a lot of these type of effects in his music video. Shout out to Julo, Jolo. Julo, I don't really know his name. Okay, so in order to use the dynamic link in After Effects in Premiere Pro, you gotta select your clip, hold up, drag up one. On the top clip, you're gonna right click, go to replace with After Effects composition. Once your clip is in After Effects, what I like to do first is go ahead and cut the part that I want to add the effect to. So I'm going to use him right here as my subject. Use it all the way until his arm is about to cover him up. I'm going to go ahead and select my clip. Hold Control Shift D to split the clip. I'm going to bring my clip that I want to add the effect on. I'm going to bring that to the top so it's a little easier to see. Go back to the beginning of the clip that I want to add the effect to. I'll be right back after I mask this guy out using Rotoscope. If you don't know how to roto brush, just YouTube it. All right, so I'm back. I'm done rotoscoping my subject out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little feather to this because I rushed through it so it's a little choppy. What I like to do is bring the edges in, add a little feather, not too much because a lot of feather could mess it up, make it look weird. We're gonna go to our first clip, which is our rotoscope layer. If you turn it off, you see we have nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the rotoscope layer. And on the bottom rotoscope layer, what we're gonna do is delete the rotoscope off of that layer. So we just have the original footage. So if you look, we got the rotoscope layer, and then we got the original footage. We're gonna go to the beginning of our mask. We wanna add the effect. First thing we're gonna do is rename our clip so we can stay organized. The first clip, which is our roto brush layer, we're gonna name that original clone. And we're gonna change the color of this to purple. If you see the blue cube next to the the clip click that we're gonna change it to any color you want then i'm gonna go to my second clip which is my background i'm gonna rename that to background first thing you want to do for this effect is duplicate your original clone Control d on the second purple clip and what we're gonna do is change the color of our second duplicate so we don't get confused and we're gonna change that to an orange and all our orange clips are going to be the pop out clones so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit p go to where you want to start your effect at hit position hit the keyframe by position then i'm gonna scroll to the middle of my clip and i'm gonna go ahead and drag my subject out to the right and you see it's behind the original footage see we're not going to touch the original footage you can lock it if you want to but see if you put it on top it's going to be on top of it if you put it on bottom it's going to be behind the subject and adjust the position the way you like it. And I'm gonna duplicate it again. In the position, I'm gonna drag it out again. Duplicate it again. Position, I'm gonna drag it out again. Duplicate, drag out. Duplicate, drag out. Do as many clones until you're satisfied. I think I'm good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my orange clips. Holding shift and selecting all of them. I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard, which brings up the keyframes once again. And I'm going to go to the second to last frame. And I'm going to hit reset on all of them. All of my orange clips, I'm going to hit reset. And then when you play it back, you should see you should have the clones popping out and popping back in. But what you want to do to spice it up is go ahead and select all of your keyframes from your orange clip. And hit F9 to make it easy ease to smooth your keyframes out a little bit. And I like to add motion blur to all of my orange clips so it makes it look a little bit more natural. Then when you play it back, you see what you got. Real quick, it's even better when you do it to a hard hit on a beat or anything. When you edit to the beat, this effect is a lot more dope. All right, so let's try with another example. This time I'm gonna try with this this dude right here. Try to make the clones go behind him so it go from the clones go from left to right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this and I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my layers I just worked on. And I'm gonna go ahead and pre-compose those so we kind of just condense it all so we got the effect that we got. Then we're just gonna rotoscope the rest of this clip out with this dude. So I'll be right back.
all right now that i rotoscoped them out i'm gonna go ahead and add my feather and shift my edges to kind of complete the look like last time Bring my edges in a little bit you got your rotoscope clip what we're gonna do is duplicate that on the second clip we're gonna delete the rotoscope off so we have the original footage and the rotoscope layer so we're gonna go ahead and rename our clips the rotoscope we're gonna name original clone then the background we're gonna name background we're gonna change the color of our original clone to purple like we did last time duplicate that we're gonna change the color of our moving our pop-out clones to orange everything in orange is what's gonna pop out behind the subject the purple clone is gonna stay where it's at we can lock it if we want to just so we know we don't touch it at the beginning of our orange clip we're gonna go ahead and hit p for position hit the stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe we're gonna scroll to the middle of our rotoscope clip and we're gonna drag our subject out behind we're gonna duplicate and just keep dragging like we did before duplicate and drag once you satisfy with all your duplicates you're gonna select all of your clips hit p select all of your keyframes on your orange clips hit f9 to easy ease them then we're gonna go to our last frame and then we're gonna hit reset on all of them add your motion blur and then when you play it back you should have something like this quick little pop out effect you could do the same effect in Premiere Pro, but it's way better in After Effects. So that's it for this video. Just a quick tutorial. I hope y'all learned something. Please like and subscribe to the channel. More tutorials and preset packs coming soon. Follow me on Instagram at creativeD underscore underscore. 